Trubes, we're actually going to go out and have a fish today. It's the 14th of May in the year of our Lord 2023. And we're going to go and have a fish just down the usual place here in Gizzy. Of course, we've tried so many times to go fishing and we're actually going to do it this time. It's about the third time I think this year I've been out. And it's generally weather related. But hey, we'll see you down there. And I must say, you're looking quite good. Almost as handsome as this old fella. We'll see you down there. Hey, Trubs, here we are. We're down at the beach. We're going to have a bit of a fish, mate. Of course, we haven't done one of these for a while. We've got a good old nor'wester coming in from over that way. The beach is right there. And I'm right here, and the rod's in the truck, and that's no good. We better get it in the water, I reckon. The water's a little bit murky, but hey, who cares? We're here having a bit of a fish, mate, for a change. Praise Jesus. for a change, eh? Yeah, the beach actually having a fish. We'll check that line shortly because it wasn't there, eh? Praise Jesus, eh? Gosh, it's good to get out here, mate. It really is. There's a few other fellas down the beach here having a fish too. Water's a tad murky from the uh, rain we've had, eh? Good. There's a few bogs down there having a fish and all that. Got another muckle stone with this, and she's really, really good, mate. It's only 10 years old, it's quite cheap. Looks after Bubby, you no know, changes of nappy and all that carry on, which that does help, takes the burden off us. And, you know, entertains or anything. Gonna be a good mum that one. Then she's the one I'm looking at to take over the channel when we get too old to do it, eh? But the only problem is she's not overly keen on eating fish. <laughs> Which you know that's what this is all about, right? Eh? It's us, Trebs. Hey, Trebs, here we go. We're off to Poawa Beach. There's young Rangy over there being cheeky as usual. And uh, hopefully we're going to catch a fish. We're fishing out there low tide, so we better get cracking because it's on its way out fast. See you there. Hey, Trebs, here we are at Poawa Beach. Praise Jesus for fish. He's young Rangy inside there. Playing on her phone as she does. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and calm out here today, Trev, so I think we'll be rocking and rolling. Praise Jesus for plenty of fish, eh? I really hope we get a fish down here. Here's young Rangy, Trev, debating. Trebs, here you go, caught for fish. Oh, 
I'll see if that's the way it is, no fish, but uh, can't always catch them, eh? Right, right, we're going to scarf her back home. We'll see you there. Hello, troops. My little darling is floating around here somewhere, mixing up some concoctions. Now, what we're going to do for you lot today is um, fish pie. So we're going to start off marinating these fellas, and they're going to take about 12 hours or something to marinate properly and then we'll get back into it tomorrow. I'll just put some, um, I've got no kosher salt, because apparently kosher salt is better to put on fish when you marinate it. So we have Himalayan. I reckon Himalayan's pretty kosher anyway, Trish. Himalayan salt. So and it's on the chest, eh? As long as it draws out the, f well, what will do, it will draw out the fluid, I think. Yeah, a little bit of pep, I suppose. And we will just, if we can just, we can just rub in the brown sugar. This is going to be super yummy arms, Trevs. Grows hairs on the chest, eh? And by tomorrow, it should be ready to... The fluid's already coming out, so probably these probably won't need to be marinated for long, but anyway, so we'll cover them up with a glad wrap. Look just like that, eh? That can go in the fridge. Praise Jesus, eh? Well, here we are, Trev's going to need a few, few Murphys. We're going to peel off a few of these. We have fish pie. We've got prawns. Yummy arms. And some fish here and the rest of the fish in the fridge over there. And Ringy's doing whatever she's doing. Right now what we're going to do with these fellas, troops, we're going to cut them up into little squares. And they're around about an inch each size. Like that. Around about that size. Reason being is they cook ten times quicker. Look at that, eh? Great hairs on the chest, mate. Bit of good old fashioned fish pie, eh? This is Hoi and Ringy style, mate. Been trying to go fishing for a while, eh? But the wind and weather and rain and stuff have put us off. It's coming in from the east, eh? And an easterly wind is no good here for fishing, mate. Right, guys, here's your uh, pot full of spuds. And they'll all be mashed up down the track and um, there we go with the fish pie. Eh? And you're putting them in your famous Himalayan. You can pour it. You should just about do it I reckon. Praise Jesus for fish pies eh. I don't know if you jokers can see, but that whole tutu doll sitting down there. Right, eh, Trevs? Now here, we've got two lots of um, marinated fish. There's one on the plate here. And there's a bit of a whole lot and a heap more in this roasting dish here. Heaps of them. Got a pot full of uh, spuds here, which we're going to turn on now. One of these, Trevs. This is called a leak. And what we're going to do, we're going to whip him up, cut him up to a bit there, I suppose. I don't know, I never cut a leak in my life. Now, under here, in case you're wondering, it's the prawns. Now, we got these out a bit late, that's why we're just waiting a little bit for them to thaw out. They're pretty much done, eh? They're really, really quite soft now. But they're good for uh, fish pie, mate, eh? Boy, they grow hairs on the chest, you know what I mean, Trevor? I don't know one of them fast fellas or just a lot of them. Yeah, there's a bit here, do it too. Yeah, 
cut those spuds up pretty small too, you know, like a bit of squares or something like that. And you'll, um, oh, they quick, uh, they cook a lot quicker, eh? They cook a lot, lot quicker. Those pieces. The fish pie is fish pie, right? Eh? Look at these jaggers, mate, and these are yummy yums, eh? Oh, crikey. Right, we're going to see what Rangy's doing. Right, well, choose what we're going to do with these fellas. We're just going to dice them up a little bit, like these, these big ones. This big one here, you could probably be done into about four quarters. Oops. You're just going to dice these up, and um, well, the big ones, as I say, the threes, or another granddaughter stone with us now. But she's pretty good. She's um, goes to school and um, runs on the smell of an oily rag and is pretty much self sufficient, which is really good. Yeah, the O22 dogs hanging around, mate. He's right there, isn't he, for those who can see him. I don't know if you dogs can see. And his full name is Obehave Chewbacca Ho22 No Ears. That is his full name. There's nothing for you, you Ho22 dog. Getting up and getting all excited and wagging tails, mate. This is our prawns for our fish pie. Right, get set done. Always pays to keep a nice clean workbench, guys. Everything's rocking and rolling good. Right, we'll just check these spuds and uh, see how they're rocking and rolling. Yet another three or four minutes, I would say, there in that neck of the woods. And what we're doing here, Trebs, is just hacking up the one, the plate full of fish that we've got and i um, going to make one little pie in here and then we're going to do another pie in a bigger dish with all the other fish we've got. Alright guys, now we're going to hack all this fish up for the bigger, um, for the bigger dish. Yummy yums. Now the marinade on this was just Himalayan salt peppercorns yeah it was Himalayan salt peppercorns and brown sugar and then we just left it in the fridge overnight mmm this looks so yummy and delectable foods yeah here's the cat finally turned up gee whiz righto guys here we are pretty much all done now we're going to use a pastry base in our one and we've got cheese here Ready to rock and roll, it's inside that thing. Got our prawns, got our leeks, got our spuds here, they just need mashing. The fish is here, we're going to cook up whatever we're getting cooked up in here. I think it's the leeks with a knob of butter. A little bit of olive oil, 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 oil is a better one. With a knob so of butter. So we've got the fish here that we marinated from last night um, with brown mm. sugar and um, um, Himalayan and peppercorns. Right now we've got a bit of olive oil in the pan. I'm just throwing a knob of butter. So we've got garlic olive oil. It's garlic olive oil. Mum's using the real yummy stuff. And then yummy we're going to throw in the leeks. Here's the leekies. We need some carrots. Doors up by the hoary. Just doing. Yeah, that'll grow hairs on your chest and nothing will. I used to try and keep a clean workbench too, so otherwise it gets a bit cluttered and all that, eh? Look at this tree. I think the idea was to just make it fluffy. Grow hairs on the chest, this stuff. Himalayan. We're assuming that everybody knows how to put pastry in a bowl. So, here you go. If you don't know how to do that, you go on YouTube and talk to someone and say, bring these spice and things up over there. Oh my gosh, that's quite nice, they are. Now, Hori's going to have his fish pie without cheese. You all can't eat cheese, guys. And I'm just going to have a small dish. Um, I'm just going to put mine in this, this little cake tin, without pastry. So we're just going to, it's, it's all about testing it out. Testing what tastes what better with the pastry or without. All about yummy yums, <laughs> I reckon. If it's yummy yums, it's done good. A mashing weed we go, a mashing weed we go. I hope the diddly a mashing weed we go. See 
famous ringtone there, Trevs. Not knowing what I'm doing, I suppose it's good enough. What do you reckon, Trevs? I want to add. It's all your diced up little uh, prawns. Right, I'm going to, I've diced up uh, my fish in there. So Hori needs to put his fish in there. And we're going to add some raw prawns. What fish in here is it? Oh, yeah. I think for probably about $35 all up. This is cream and um, leeks. I'm not talking about the leek in the roof of the house either. These are the vegetable ones. A bit like the old man's beard that covers those trees and strangles them and all that. It ain't this stuff here I'm talking about. Yummy, yummy, yum, yum. Still a little bit. A little, little bit for Rennie and a whole heap for this hoary man. Oh gee, love it. Love it to pieces. Now we can um, season the prawn if you like, but I think because we marinated the fish, it, it'll just mix in with it. So. Bit of him laying in there to give it a bit of seasoning, as Rangy would say. And with mine, I'm going to put a bit of cheese in it. A bit of pepper, peppercorns, rose hairs on the chest. And then I'll save some of it for the. Um, potato. Okay, so you've done the potato. I learned something. Whether I remember it or not, I do not know, but this is a good way to do lemon juice all over your pie, mate. By putting it through your hands, you collect the seeds on the way. Now, Rangy's laughing at us, Trish. Well, he is doing that. <laughs> Then we pour the sauce over the fish. Right, that should be enough. Okay, Hori, you can have the rest. Ooh, look at all that saucy stuff, eh? Grown's hairs on my chest. Granddaughter asked me where's the hair on my chest, and so I pluck it off and put it on my taho hair, which is beer, for those who don't know. That's where all my hair chest is, growing off me chinny chin chin. Rangy's good at stirring things up, mate, trust me. Huh. <laughs> Had a comment the other day. Some camp oven bread down the beach and a camp out. It sounds like the bees knees to me. Good wait till the weather comes right, I wouldn't want to put a piece up in this wind, mate. Oh, and the come. Right. Yeah. So now I'm going to pour wine. Bring it in a little one, and I've made a big one over there. I don't think it's going to fill half of it. But praise Jesus, it's really what it is. Have you never made this before? Just quick and easy, that's what we want. Quick and easy, and grows hairs on the chest. Okay, we just need to add the potato. That's the washing machine you can hear in the background, guys. Oh, it will cover it. The potato will. There we go, see? Look at that, cheese. Fits like a glove, mate. It's a bit of a That is lots. Oh. What are you doing, Ben? You're keeping my fish? Oh. Yeah. There you go, guys. That's what she looks like. It's the fish and the um, in the cream and the um, what's that other stuff called? The leeks. Leeks. And now we're just going to put a little bit. Well, I'm going to just put a little bit of potato. Oh, on. I'm going to put plenty of mine. I love spuds, mate, especially the best ones. <laughs> Whoa, grow hairs on that chest. In a pastry base, eh? It's a new step. We haven't seen anyone do it with a pastry base. But I'm not saying no one's done it. Putting, putting the Murphy's on, mate. Just want to make it look fluffy. Some people stick it through those okay. cake icing things. Piping bags. Yeah, whatever they are. Piping bags. Come out with all them little funny looking balls and stuff. Right, and then, 
going to chuck mine in the oven. Throw mine in the oven for about, what, 30 minutes? 30 minutes, yeah, you can go first, I'll do mine second. Oh, there's plenty of room for it. Yeah, 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 there's Nice and uniform. These are three car oil that didn't get away. Praise oh, Jesus, eh? But I don't know what anyone else reckons, but I think car oil is about one of the best eating mm. fish we've got. Yeah. And I, if you want, which I forgot to do, was um, just sprinkle a bit of nutmeg in the mashed potato. There you go, guys. I mean, you, can, you don't just, you don't have to add just one fish either. You can add like three different fish or as many as you oh, want. Oh, yeah, you've got all sorts in there, mate. Guess what she looks like in the end, Trevs? <laughs> right, it's ten to two. On the tenth day of May, the year of our Lord, 2023. So we'll see you in about half an hour, guys. Well, Granny's put the egg timer on, mate, so she's going to be cooking with gas shortly. There you go, Trev's now ring, he's putting a bit of cheese on her one. Because Hori can't have cheese. Na, 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that ring here. Eh? Is she naughty to her, Hori, mate? No, you're naughty to me. Yes, well, eh? I'm allowed to be. Yummy yeah, arms. I'll be there so. for another five or so. The oven's on. 200. Look at that, Trev's yummy yams. Oh, that cheese one there, that's mum's one. Oh, look at that. Oh, mate, grows hairs on the chest. You're going to be good with that. Let's get another. Excuse me, Albie. Ring is just going to get another cloth, mate, because it's a bit heavier, that one. It's got the pastry bottom on it, this one. Oh, that looks good. Oh, oh gee. Wow. Mmm, yummy arms, Trebs. Time to cool. Beautiful. Them. I'll tell you what, I've got a belly hungry for it, too. Oh, you don't know what you're missing here, Jagers, ma'am. Mmm. Here we go. Ringy can't wait to wait, wait for it. Oh, there's a bit of fish coming out. It's kawai, this fish, or kawai. Oh, that's, um... Oh, look at that, even the shrimp, you can see the shrimp. Yeah, even the little prawns in there, mate. Wow. You can see she's took close to perfection, mate. It's just falling apart, eh, that fish? That's great. Praise Jesus. Nice golden tinge to the pie. Ringy's got cheese on hers, it's the same, eh? Look at that, eh? Wow! Ringy's gonna do the daredevil thing and have a taste. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Here we go. Yummy arms. Oh, look at that, eh? Look hmm. at that, straight down the laughing gear. Having a good old munch. Oh my gosh. Well, here we go. Seal of approval there, Trev. That is so yummy. I think we should um, marinate the fish. Mm, that is yeah, so we, good. We, we, yeah. In my face. Yeah, well, they're supposed to be. <laughs> This fish pot. is so beautiful. Do you want to taste, babe? Yeah, I'll just have a quick taste. Oh. No, I'll be a lot. I'll try mine in a minute because it's got cheese in it. Eh? Oh, yeah. But it is so beautiful. Um, the seasoning is great. It's not overwhelmed with seasoning. The cheese does give it that yummy taste. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I would so have used parmesan cheese or tasty cheese, something like that. I guess I'll see that was twenty dollars a block then in Kai T mate for a tasty cheese, eh? Mm. Mm -mm. I might just have a, have a small piece of that. Just get a bit of fish there. It is. It's so good. 
Look at there you go. Look at these tramps, grows hairs on our chest, this stuff. Oh, it's just not bad at all, mate. Mmm, mm, yummy, yummy. Seal of approval, guys. That is yummy yums. Here's that Obi Hay <laughs> Chewbacca Hotutu oh, Noe's dog. Mm -hmm. 